Welcome to another edition of Small Talk for You. This morning I wanted to go through kind of a basic usage scenario with Faro. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the browser and build a simple class just to show you all the moving parts. I've kind of gone through a lot of things with Faro, showed you a lot of packages, but I kind of wanted to show how this basic system works when you're actually working with it. So let's bring up the browser and you'll notice that it's a window within the environment. Now what I want to do is I want to add a new package. I'm going to context click, meaning right click, and I'm going to add a package. So let's just call this counter app because I'm going to do my basic simple application here. So I get my new package and now what I'm going to do is go over here to the right in the class pane and I'm going to say add a class. So it's going to pop up this little window and I'm going to call my class counter. I'm going to come down here and add an instance variable called count. And I could do this in the window below but I can do it also here and it'll come in and it'll give me the class. Now notice the exclamation mark that means I have not commented. I'll just leave that alone for now. What I want to do is I want to generate the instance variables. So I'm going to go to refactoring install refactoring, pull right and get accessors, and I'll select the variable I want, count, and it'll go ahead and give me this little window and tell me what it's going to do and I'll accept. Now at this point, since I'm writing code, it's going to ask for my initials, and that's because that's part of Monticello. I'm just going to not go through Monticello right now, but that's what that's about. And now I have my two variables, accessors. So I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to add a new protocol, and I'm going to call this initialize release because what I want is I want to make sure that my count is set to zero. So I'm going to create a method called initialize. And I don't need to call this directly because when the class got generated, and I'll show you this on the class side, I'm going to say self count zero. So I'll Apple S, or if I were on Windows, it'd be Control S. But let's go to the class side and I'll show you what I was talking about. Notice over here, I don't have anything, but that's because the basic behavior of new in Faro is now super new initialized, so I don't need to worry about even generating that into this class. That's just the basic way it works, and that's how initialize will get called. Finally, I'll add one more protocol. I'm going to call this API, and I'll come down here and say add one, self count, self count plus one, hit Apple S. Now I have a working class. Let's just go ahead and make sure it functions, so we'll bring up the workspace. And we'll do something like this. Counter colon equal counter new. And then we'll do counter add one. And we'll go ahead and highlight all of this and do an inspect. And I should see count at one, which I do. So that's kind of a basic usage scenario of how you would start from nothing in Faro, create a package, create a class, write a little bit of code. And at this point, I'd be maybe going into writing some test methods or maybe going in and putting some version control here, but I wanted to stop for the day because that's pretty much all I wanted to cover right now. So it's better for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.